What's up, Learn How Nation? In this video, I'm going to show you the best affordable keyword research tool that you can use to find low competition keywords to rank in Google. There are a ton of keyword research tools out there like SEMrush, Ahrefs, Keyword Finder. There's all sorts of different options for you to do your keyword research. And if you're a blogger or if you have a website and you're working on SEO or search engine optimization, you know how important keyword research is to getting Google search traffic. So you're going to want to have a very good keyword research tool, but you're also gonna to wanna to have a tool that fits within your budget, depending on where you're at in your blogging career. You might be a brand new blogger, you might not, ha you might not have a lot of money to spend on a keyword research tool. So I'm gonna show you the tool that I use, which also happens to be a very affordable tool and a tool that you can use for free. There's a link in the description right below this video that you can sign up for a free account with this tool and you can use it for free just like you would with the paid version, but it will have a lot of limits. So it will be kind of hard to get things done, but it's good to, to test it out to see what you think. But I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how I use it, how you can use it to find those long tail keywords. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the keyword research tool that I use is Keyword Finder. Now this is one of the best, most affordable tools out there. I've tried SEMrush, I've tried Ahrefs, I've tried a lot of those tools, and those tools can run you upwards of $100 per month, and I know a lot of us don't have money for that, but this one, I'll show you right here, the pricing, you can get it for as low as $29 a month, which is plenty for a lot of you who are just starting out, and it gives you access to a lot of great features. So let's jump over really quickly and let me just show you really basically how it works. So let's say I was a fitness blogger and I wanted to write an article I thought about fitness tips. So I'm gonna search fitness tips to see what kind of results I get for that keyword. Now you'll see here the results are showing a lot of yellow boxes. That means that this is a difficult keyword to rank for, but with just a couple quick clicks, I can find a much better keyword, a low competition keyword that I can rank for. So a few things that you'll see here on the screen is you'll see a list of keyword recommendations. You can see some search volume, some analytics, and a keyword difficulty score. If I simply sort this column by the keyword difficulty score, I can see low to high. And now look at all these green numbers. These are keywords that are easy to rank for. Over here, if I look at this score, I can kind of see the scale. But these are keywords that are easy to rank for. So I can see a keyword here, outdoor fitness. That's still easy. And look at the search results. Over on the right, this table shows the Google search results. This keyword shows a lot of green boxes, which means this is a keyword that you can rank for as a new blogger or a blogger that doesn't have a lot of domain authority yet. So I could analyze these search results a little bit further to kind of see, you know, um, the domain authority. I can see the exact article. I could click on it and read it. But you can see here some colored boxes. Green boxes basically means good or easy, meaning you could replace these people on the search results. If you see red or orange boxes, that's probably a sign saying, ooh, it might be hard to, to outrank that website. Like this orange one is Wikipedia, which is you know a high domain authority website. But a lot of these are green, which means you, this is a great keyword for you to target. So that quickly, guys, instead of writing an article about fitness tips, I could write an article about outdoor fitness tips or top 10 outdoor fitness exercises and use the keyword outdoor fitness and have a much better chance of ranking if I'm a new blogger or even an experienced blogger. This is a great way to find keywords to rank for. If you do any SEO or search engine optimization, you know how important keyword research is and keyword rankings. So I would strongly encourage you to check out Keyword Finder. There's a link in the description below this video that'll get you a free registration for the service where you can do 10 searches a day, try it out. That's probably not enough for you to you know, really be serious about your keyword research, but you can at least test out the platform and see what you think. Um, but the $29 basic plan is what I have and it's great. Um, and it kind of gets the job done for me. Maybe at some point I'll, I'll boost it up to the premium, but the basic plan is very affordable for a new blogger that's trying to, you know, make some more money online. 
All right, guys, that's basically the gist of Keyword Finder. There's some other features that are included with your subscription that I'll talk more about in another video, but check out the link below this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments of Keyword Finder. Um, and you know, once you get signed up, give me some feedback, give me some questions, and I can do some more videos to help you guys out. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, check out our Facebook group, learn how blogging, so that you can learn more about blogging, how to make money blogging, and how to improve and increase traffic to your blog or website. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.